is asking us to make t the subject of uh, this equation. Okay, so what do you do there? Now, clearly, you can see that this equation represents a quadratic equation. So, um, I would um, immediately write it to look like that. And so, if I multiply through by 2, I'm going to get 2s is equal to 2ut. And then, why am I multiplying through by 2? Is so that I will remove this uh, fraction. And so this is going to give me gt squared. Okay, so of course from here, um, you know that a general form of a quadratic equation is like this, abx, sorry, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So if I do this to be of this form, of that form, so I'll have gt squared plus 2ut, minus, of course, this will come over to this side. So you have minus 2s equal to 0. Okay, so that now implies that my a following this general form is going to be g and uh, my b will be 2u and um, that means my c will be negative 2s. That is the constant. Okay, so by the time I now substitute into, you recall that the general formula for solving this, that's using the formula method, is giving us um, x is equal to minus b. Uh, so now, you know, this is enough to help us make t the subject in this equation because t stands for your x in this quadratic equation, okay? So, and that's why I'm going to be using that. All right, so from here, we can then easily see that um, our t is now going to be equal to, remember, we are substituting into this. That means my b, which is a 2u, and so I'm going to have negative 2u plus or minus the square root of, <clears throat> if you square negative 2u, you are going to get 4u squared. So here I'm going to have 4u squared and that is going to be minus 4 into my a, which is g, multiplied by c, which is minus 2s. Okay, so um, everything is all over 2a, which is the same as 2g. So if I push this a little further, I will have minus 2u plus or minus um, square root of uh, 4u squared. And here is going to now be plus because you have uh, this plus here or this minus here. Multiplying this minus, that will give you plus. Then 4 multiplying 2 will be 8. So I will have 8gs. Uh, Okay, all right, and that is all over 2g. Okay, so from here, I am now going to have minus 2g, now, sorry, 2, 2u. Now, watch what is going to happen. So here, I can bring out 4. If I do that, I'm going to get u squared plus 4gs. Okay, so close this bracket. And this is over 2g. So recall that, um, of course, I can take the square root of this, which if I do, I'm going to have minus 2u plus or minus. If I take the square root of 4, I will get 2. So the square root will now only contain u squared plus 4gs. Okay, and that is all over our 2g. So finally, if I bring out 2, I'm going to have minus u plus or minus the square root of u squared plus 4gs. Okay, close here, and this is over 2g. So what did, why did I do that? Because I am seeing 2 in the denominator, and this will give me minus u plus or minus u squared plus 4gs 
all over my G as the solution. So I've been able to make my T to be equal to this. Right, and that is uh, the solution to this problem. Remember, we are asked to make T the subject of the equation. Being a subject, you know, it should be alone. It should stand alone and every other thing should be on the other side. And that's what we have achieved. All right, kindly like this video and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also do share our videos to your friends. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.